everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so I just put up this video about architecture ideas for high speed trading. I wanna take this uh, video farther. I mentioned it in this lengthy video of 42 minutes about um, the this example here of practical C++ sockets. So I just noticed this, not suitable for production applications. That's fine. But what I will show you is as I said, the guaranteed way of uh, receiving um, the development of messages. So here's more. This was developed for pedagogical, of course, big words I can't talk thanks to this world of the academia. Not suitable for production. This library is currently in development and subject to fundamental change at any time. Use it at your own risk. This project is very much work in progress. If you have any comments or suggestions on the current, please send an email. So I'm gonna ignore that, but I'm just using these for demonstration purposes. I've shown you a couple of apps here in this TCP IP. Now we're moving into UDP. The importance here between TCP and UDP is very uh, different. As you know, I've been using Redis for quite a while. The big drop, uh, drawback of Redis, it's built around TCP IP. Even though it's fast, uh, the Open HFT project in Java really opened my eyes. Now, I've always known about UDP as well, which is the better way to communicate between processes. So I've done some research, the Echo client server, we kind of have an idea, but the most appropriate one is the multicast receiver and sender. Um, using UDP, okay? I'm not gonna get into this. Um, so you need to understand what the difference is. What I will tell you is that UDP is basically uh, copying blocks of memory um, and uh, it's a, the faster way to deliver large chunks of data from one process to another. Okay, so let me show you these two C++ programs. So in here, these demos that I'm about to show you is one's a receiver, one's a server. So we have, um, let me make sure I've got the right one. I have to reopen it. Okay, so we have our receiver and then we also have our UDP uh, just open server. So I'm going to do the server. Uh, okay, UDP multi server. Okay, let's talk about the first one. So, in essence, um, this is very basic. Gets the server address and the port from the command line, uh, sets up the uh, conversion of one of the parameters into ask uh, into uh, into uh, an integer from ASCII or string uh, sets up the socket sets up the multicast goes basically into it into a uh, into a uh, for you know, in, into a uh, in an infinite for loop and it will send out this message that you get from the command line um, server address and the port, which we get from the command line here. So essentially, um, that's how that works. Pretty basic stuff. But um, it's not like the thread one. The uh, Let's pull that one up. The TCP echo server uh, thread. So we need to still put in this part right here. Um, so that it receives the message. And then we need to do something with that message and throw it onto a thread and spawn it so that we can now throw in the extra processing that I've talked about in my previous video. Um, uh, like I said, I don't have my notes here, but, uh, 
yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so when we spawn that thread um, in, in that code I just showed here, we need to add that. The difference now, I'll be taking, you know, you'll see here that we're using P threads, that's standard um, POSIX threads. We're gonna convert that and put it into TBB threading building blocks. Okay, so we're gonna do that uh, in the next step. But I just wanna show you the basics first because there's a lot of information being thrown around. So uh, let me just go back to the server for the multicast UDP. So that's basically what I just showed you in this UDP multicast server is just simple code. Then we have the receiver. Um, that basically, basically receives it. Um, and then it parses it and then it will, uh, receive the string, uh, by doing some manipulation here. And then from the source address. Now the advantage here with UDP is, uh, if I look up UDP multicast uh, versus broadcast, it's important to understand the difference. Um, I'm just hoping this is the article. Yeah, this is what I wanted. So with broadcast, um, based upon how you, um, you, basically architect the system, which is kind of important on the multicast versus broadcast in UDP. Um, communication where a piece of inf is sent from one point to other points. Um, we're really not doing that. Uh, we are have one server and that is gonna broadcast to one receiver, okay? So, in the multicast, um, used to describe communication with a piece of information sent from one point or more points to other points. In this case, there may be one or more senders, which is true. The information is distributed to a set of receivers. That's true too. So um, an example here is a video server network of channels. So using this methodology here, we have a lot more flexibility where we're not um, pigeonholed to one server, one receiver, as this would allude to in this broadcast. What we want is multicast, but um, you know, I, I would assume that's probably the better way to do it. Um, and then I guess at the same time, reading that with these addresses that I have and, have, and I'll show the code. We, we have more flexibility to broadcast this data through a network uh, card uh, in, in large bulk, okay? Because here we have our packet of max received string at 256. I'm not sure what we can put that up to, to throttle it properly. But again, that comes down to basic testing. So, when you look at when these two applications run, um, let me just uh, say, okay, so this is the multicast server and this is the multicast receiver, okay, when I'm about to run. So here on the left, I'm gonna set up, so I'm gonna set up my receiver. Now remember, there's, there's supposed to be a for loop, but it ends. So it only accepts one message. So if I, uh, let me just make sure I got this right. Uh, so if I send the message hi from the server to, okay, so just wanna show you something here. The multicast has has changed 
their the addresses don't match up. So this is why we're not working because we have ninety one and it's expecting ninety. Actually, it's sending it to ninety nine, but it's uh, expecting ninety ninety one. So we have to make sure that those two match. So we got ninety one eight eight zero nine nine support. Let me just relaunch this. Hopefully this should work now. So there you go. It's received high from that address. Okay. So that's kind of working as is, but we got to put the more intelligence and the logic in there to keep the to keep this guy running and also add it to a new thread uh, what's received. So let me just show you the Python version of this. Now this code came from here. I'm about to show you. So here, um, let's make sure we have matching uh, addresses in the code. So we have 91 port 80099, as you can see here. Okay, so they run. So what I need to do now is to set up this guy, the receiver. This has got nothing, this is not running at all, but the receiver uh, now uh, waits. So I'm gonna run this little simple Python script using multicast. It's gonna send, connect into the socket address. As you can see, uh, it's going to um, connect into it as I said, and that's gonna send over a little message called robot into the address and port. So when I run it, nothing happens, but when I look at the receiver, you'll see here it's received it, and that little robot message. So the different the, the connection from Python into UDB send uh, multicast receive is, is working. Very basic stuff, but this communication is really important because we're no longer using TCP IP, as I explained here. Uh, Yeah, so as I said, I, I explained earlier, we're no longer using TCP IP, which uh, Redis was built on, we are now using UDP, okay? So the next steps that I'm looking at, as um, this popped up that you may have seen, is we are now using um, TBB, threading building blocks, uh, examples, just going through different examples that we can work through for better threading. Okay, so we have a concurrent priority queue. We have a very set of tasks uh, and all these. So I'll, I'll figure out which ones look good and uh, demo them in another video um, as we get to them. Okay, important stuff here.